is good YouTube, it's Acid. Welcome back to my channel, guys. Today, just wanted to talk about, uh, catch up on some tweets that Mike Wayne's been tweeting out. I've been keeping an eye on Twitter here recently. Uh, we are only, what, four days from game drop. We're four days from 2K Day. Uh, we're getting really close now, and a lot of stuff's been dropping. There was somebody, uh, I forget who it was now, but I'll leave his name and his link in the description, uh, that was actually streaming 2K20. He did some, like, WNBA stuff. He streamed some of the new dribble moves and the character creation and stuff like that. So if you guys want to watch the whole stream, it's about three hours. He streamed it for about three hours. But I'll leave the link in the description. You guys can go watch that if you really want to. So we're going to talk about badges to start. He tweeted this out uh, August 29th. Badges enhance your existing ability. So for example, if you add unpluckable but have low ball handling, it won't save you from getting ripped. It'll reduce the frequency a bit. Won't make you the same as a good ball handler with the same badge. So what he's saying is you can't, it's pretty much not a getaway if you have like 75 ball control and you're like, I'm never going to get picked if I put unpluckable on my player essentially you can get picked it'll just lower the frequency a bit compared to somebody with say 86 ball control so badges are not just a way out this year if you have bad stats on a certain attribute so you know having good stats and a badge compared together is what you want so that's essentially what he's saying there now this is what i really wanted to get into because i find it i found this the most interesting out of all the tweet rants he went on and it's about ranking up and it's about like your overall. So he started with this, said the goal for 90, 95, 99 end game is to be able to level up your player, player equally between my career, park, pro-am, et cetera. You shouldn't be forced out of your favorite mode to get to 99, which we were the past two years. We all had to play my career if we wanted to get there. We'll be monitoring the community closely and adjusting where necessary to make that happen. Pretty much what they're saying is 90, 95 to 99 should not be a grind anymore. Like it should just be there. It should be pretty easy to get to and what they're trying to focus on now instead of overall is they're trying to focus on like the competitive nature of 2k that's why they're adding they added back park rep and the ranking system and all that stuff so they're trying to focus on the competitive stage and less on the grind to an overall then a couple days later he started tweeting some more said some details on the 95 95 end game you level up or down based on wins losses and on-court performance not teammate grade it's a new evaluation system that's more stat based like takeover it's really gonna matter your win loss so people that were worried about their record last year like as far as the park it's gonna matter this year if you want your park rep obviously your park rep to look good but also if you want to stay in that 95 to 99 range if you want to stay in the 95 to 99 range you're gonna have to play well and wins are gonna matter it's not gonna be just you could take a loss but get an A plus teammate grade and you might stay a 99 you know you might get an A plus teammate grade on a game take a loss and then drop back to a 98 overall because you lost so winning is actually gonna matter this year but I could see it where if you take a loss at a game, you drop back to 98, you could easily get back on, get a win, go back to 99, or you could go play a My Career game, do really do that really quick, get back to 99 as well. Um, so just keeping you in that range. But essentially, you're gonna wanna focus more on win-loss this year than you are your teammate grade. I mean, if you play well, you'll obviously get a win either way. But let's say you're playing with your IRLs or something like that, and you're taking a bunch of Ls, your overall is gonna drop, so you have to be aware of that this year. He also tweeted this, said, wins are more heavily weighted in park and pro-am, while performance is more heavily weighted in my career. Every time you go up a level, you get plus one to all your attributes for free, no VC required. But you can lose them if your overall drops. So what he's saying here is, like I said before, wins and losses are more heavily impacted in the park and pro-am. So that's what's gonna impact your overall more is wins, losses in the park and pro-am. But my career, it's gonna focus more on your performance. It's gonna, it's gonna focus more on teammate grade and stuff like that, which is not hard. We can all get a good teammate grade in my career. It's not difficult. What I found interesting was every time you go up a level, you get plus one to all your attributes for free. No VC required, but you can lose them if your overall drops. So think about it like this. Let's say your, your cap maxes out at an 85 ball control. 
but when you get that maxed out and you hit 95 overall and then those caps start to go up because you get this plus one to all your attributes you get a plus one for every overall from 95 to 99 you go up so you get a plus five for or a, be a plus four i guess essentially because they don't go to 100 stat they go to 99 stat you would get plus four if you hit 99 so if you have an 85 ball control if you hit 99 you'll get an 89 ball control so also it works with posterizing dunks like on my slashing playmaker build that I made that I made a video on go check that out as well I have a 88 driving dunk if I hit 99 I'll have a 92 driving dunk which will unlock these posterizer animations that I can get so this is really insane and this is for no VC you don't have to upgrade anything this is for no VC so that's actually pretty insane. He also tweeted, you will never drop below 95 overall once you get there, which uh, we knew already. And you can move between overalls relatively quickly. We, we didn't want it to be a grind, more an indication of skill. So this is essentially what I said earlier, that the grind to 99 should not just be a grind. We should just be able to get there pretty, e uh, pretty easily and then be competitive on the park stage. That's essentially what we want. So once you hit 95, you will never drop below 95 again. So essentially that's what you want to hit first is you want to hit 95 overall so you never have to drop below there again and then you'll start getting those plus ones in your stats and this this was the last tweet i wanted to talk about which is insane the plus one to plus four is on top of the caps you set in your builder that's why the highest ratings max out at 95. we also factor in strength of opponents so you'll move up faster for beating higher overalls and yes you can drop from 99 back to 98. So, the plus one to plus four is on top of your cap. So if you were making your builds this year, if you were making your builds and you were making your builds in the demo essentially, we're gonna see how these new pie charts factor into this as well. But if you were making your builds and you only ended with like an 82 or like an 84 ball control and you weren't happy with that, take another look at your build because these plus ones and plus fours that you're gonna get from 95 to 99, they might change how your build's gonna look. And apparently it's supposed to be easy to get to 95 this year. So if we do that, then you can make sure you check your builds out so you can get those caps and it might be a bit better than you anticipate. I'm gonna go back and look at my slashing playmaker build and see when I hit 99 and I get these plus four caps, what is actually gonna go up and what my stats are gonna be like. Because I believe right now I ended with like an 80, an 83 ball but if i get to 99 that's plus four or i'll have an 84 three ball with like 99 ball control which is insane because in the demo the 99 that you play with is not the 99 that's going to be in the game we all said we all thought that it didn't feel like a 99 overall and we were right after this news has come out it's technically not 99 uh this is probably one of the coolest things i've seen so far this year probably one of the coolest additions to the game i love that your overall can drop based on how you play so make sure you know you're out there playing your games and it's not like if you don't play for two weeks that you're gonna come back and you're gonna be a 95 if you were a 99 it's just it's all based on your win loss so it's it won't change if I don't think it'll change if you don't play the game, but I could be wrong on that. Let me know. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. It's just a quick little video, quick little update on things. We got four days till launch, man. It's it's been rough. I don't know what else to play right now. I've been trying to play 19, but it's it's not that great. So um, just waiting out these four days, and we'll see where we go from there. But hopefully you enjoyed the video. Leave a like, hit that subscribe button if you're new. Thank you guys for watching the video. I'm out. Peace.